Hey guys, don't forget, we're giving, doing a giveaway for a Crydex blowout kit. Uh, jump over to this video, like, comment, watch the video for the details on the dump pouch, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel when we hit 75 subscribers. We're going to do a random comment picker on the original uh, review video on the Kyde or Crydex blowout kit, and that winner is going to get, I'm going to get a hold of them. We're going to send this out to them so they can have a pretty cool piece of, of gear for their belt to help them out. All right, guys, back to the video. What's going on, guys? Matt here with TNM Product Reviews, coming back at you with another review. Got another Olight. Uh, this one here specifically is going to be another Warrior X, but this one is the Warrior X Pro in the real nice fancy holiday color green that my wife loves. Uh, so let's look at the specs on this. Uh, it is a little bit different looking than the turbo that I just did the video on here the other day. Uh, so IPX8, as always, Olight's very known for that. Uh, length is 5.87 inches. Your weight's going to be 8.43 ounces. Uh, this one is another magnetic charging with that tail cap switch. No side switches on this one either. Uh, it is going to be running that 5,000 milliamp hour, 3.6 volt, 21700 battery, just like the Warrior X Turbo, as well as the Secret 2 Pro. So it's their bigger battery that they have for their mid-size lights, because they still have the, uh, there's still two bigger lights out there than these. So tail switch wise, it's the same as the Turbo. You have a half press and then a full press. Your half press is going to be 300 lumens. It's going to run for eight hours. Now, if you notice, the hot spot on this one's not quite as, as condensed and bright, and there is more of a flood to it. Um, and then that's going to be the half, half press, but if you hit it one, full press, you're going to go, this is the difference between the turbo and the pro. Uh, the Pro is going to be 2100 lumens. It's going to run for two minutes, step down to 1000 lumens for 100 minutes, step down to 300 lumens for 23 minutes. So this is the full 2000 lumens. So as you can see, the lights spread out a lot more. And I don't know, I might be able to show you a comparison on the wall here. There you go. So this is the 1100 lumens from the turbo. And this is the 2100 lumens from the Pro. So you see, this light's a lot more condensed than this one is. This is more of a flood. You're still getting good distance on it though. Um, distance wise, you're looking at 500 meters, so half the distance of the turbo for the Pro. Um, so that's 1,640 feet. And you're looking at 62,500 candela for that light output. Um, now, I don't know if I can get either of them to show it here, but after they've been on for a little bit, if you look at the, I might have to show them to you when we go outside here. Yeah. When we go outside, there's actually a ring on the inside of both of these lights that actually glows. And it's kind of cool. It's different. Um, but now, back to the Pro here. So just like the Turbo, this does have the low battery indicator where it will vibrate when the battery is getting low. Um, color wise, you have the options of black, green, and camo are your three most popular ones. You also have OD green, gunmetal gray, blue, red, and desert tan available. Harder to find, obviously, but they're out there. You get a silicone grip ring, just like with the turbo. You can take this metal grip ring right here off, put the silicone one on. Also, comes with a holster just like the turbo uh, a little different still the same pretty much the same construction as the turbos it is magnetic in this case and the light does not come down through the bottom but you can still access that tail switch if for some reason you would need to I don't know why you would but it they seem to make it available in both holsters um, so that's the holster that comes with Kind of cool, has a light on the front there. The other one's just blank, there's nothing on it for the turbo version. Uh, you can also, this one's a little different, you can also get a cap to go over this that has a red or a green filter as well. 
so that's another cool option you can find. Um, price wise, mm, you know, I don't actually have the price down right now. So I'll put it up on the screen here and show you the prices on this one. Uh, I know, I believe it's a tad bit cheaper than the turbo, but definitely a good light. Uh, if you're out in the woods, you're hunting law enforcement, this, this one here, I think is a better option than the turbo would be. The turbo is more of a, what I would consider a searchlight or maybe hunting if you're tracking late at night or you're, you're, you're spotting even. That would be a better option. This one here is more of a, uh, you get the black one, it'd be more of a duty style light. It's good in the hand. You still have that very bright lumen. So you can get that in, in a further, decent sized distance. Like I said, 500 meters, that's still, that's still a good distance on it. So let's get outside and look at the light output on the Warrior X Pro, and we'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, so I got you out here, outside here to take a look at the light output on the Warrior X Pro. So the dual, dual mode tail switch is all we have on this one. So the first one here is gonna be 300 lumens. This is a half press on the tail switch. As you can see, it lights up real nice there. So this 300 lumens, I mean, you think about it, that is the same as what the i5T, I think, has 300 lumens, but the just the way the light is output, the way the lens is designed, you're seeing a lot better. You know, you're seeing just as far as that Warrior X Mini on the 1500. So this is gonna run for eight hours, and then you hit the a full press on the tail switch, and you can see, me personally, I can see pretty far down that, that road there. I'm gonna take you out onto the main road here in just a minute, show you how the distance is that 500 meters looks. Uh, but on the, on the top end here, this is 2100 lumens. This will run for two minutes, step down to 1000 lumens for 100 minutes then step down again to 300 lumens for 23 minutes. All right, guys, give me just a second. Let me put you out on the main road here, and I'll show you what it looks like with some distance and a little bit more open area. It's snowing, so it's kind of hard. It's messing with the camera a little bit, but here's that 2100 lumens. So it definitely lights up the street here pretty good. Don't want to keep it on too long. Obviously, people are sleeping right now, um, but that's going to be your light output on that Warrior X Pro. Definitely a nice uh, duty light is what I would consider it. Not really EDC, but hunting and duty. I mean, this is nice for tracking at night. That's nice for even better. You can still do a little bit of spotting, but not much. But it is gonna be a good duty light as well if you need to light up a scene. All right, guys, that's all I got for you here today. Later.